The goal of Master Thief is to steal the most valuable items from the museum, foil your opponent's attempts to do the same, and escape without getting caught. Every deck of Master Thief contains 36 museum cards, 70 action cards, and 6 calling cards. Calling cards are your secret identity. Don't let anyone see this. Each thief has a special category of museum item that they can get a bonus from at the end of the game. Action cards are what you use to swipe museum items from your opponents, or otherwise wreak mayhem on their heists. Action cards also allow you to defend your own collection by stashing items for an added layer of defense, or to block other players from stealing your collection. When you run out of this stack of cards, the museum opens and the game is over, capturing anyone left inside. Museum cards are the loot you steal from the museum. Each museum card has three icons across the top of the card. The first tells you how many action cards to draw. The second tells you the category of the item. The third tells you its value in black market credit. At the end of the game, you total the black market credits from your collection. Add any bonus you receive from your secret identity, and the player with the most valuable collection of items wins the game, leaving other thieves penniless. Let's play a hand. Shuffle the action cards and the museum cards separately. Place the museum cards face down in a scattered pile in the center of the table. This pile of cards is now referred to as the museum. Now place the action cards in a face down stack to draw from. You can discard action cards next to the stack. Deal one calling card to each player. Now deal four action cards to each player. Gameplay begins with a heist. All players take one card from the museum and place it face up in front of them. This gives all players an equal chance to begin their collection. Player left of the dealer takes the first turn. Begin every turn by stealing one item from the museum and placing it face up in front of you. Immediately draw the amount of action cards indicated and begin playing. On your turn, play as many cards as desired against other opponents, but you cannot play the same kind of action card twice in one hand. For other players, your turn is when they must defend themselves against your actions. You will have a vast array of actions to choose from. For example, you can swipe other players' items, but opponents may play grip to hold on to the items in their possession. If you stash an item, the item goes into hiding and is safe from the museum alarms and museum opening. However, as the game progresses, players might raid your stash, breaking the protection and swiping the card. Once you have finished your turn, you must discard down to four action cards and the carrying limit of five items, if necessary. Stashed items are unlimited at all times. Now either announce that your turn has ended, or choose to leave the museum by flipping over your calling card. Players can choose to leave the museum at the end of their turn. However, there are action cards that thwart you from leaving. If you do escape the museum, your opponents will continue playing. The longer you stay inside the museum, the larger your collection grows but the more chance you have of pulling three security cards or time running out, all of which end the game. Security cards can be averted by a certain category of item. For example, the laser snare can be averted by any player sacrificing a gem. However, players do not have to sacrifice anything, and this tension can lead to very interesting outcomes. The game will end when either three security cards are alerted, or the action deck has run out. When this happens, all players who have not successfully escaped the museum lose all of their face-up items, leaving only their stashed items. Successfully leaving the museum lets you keep your entire collection, stashed cards and all. And remember, your calling card is a category bonus. Let's see how this works. I'm the Swindler and I've stolen a painting, which means at the end of the game, this card will receive one extra BMC for my identity. The thief with the most BMC value wins the game and becomes the Master Thief.